what is up rockers welcome back to another rise of kingdoms today uh we got something interesting to talk about what is your five marches in rise of kingdoms so i want to challenge you right now is to comment your five marches in rise of kingdoms on your account and then come back in this video uh, maybe in a month or two and then read your comment and uh, compare what is your five marches then and comment on your comment find your comment again so for now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna talk about my five marches and because kvk is coming from my end in here uh, i'm gonna be having you know basically gonna be using my five marches so um, it's gonna be very interesting and in how i'm going to be transitioning now with i've been focusing a little bit on infantry so yeah, comment below. I definitely would love to hear about it. And of course, um, if you guys don't know who I am, I am Shinchi42, one of the sponsored content creators here in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, I do appreciate it. I will put a link in the description that is going to be a survey. So I kind of want to run things around with you guys a little survey uh tell us what you guys think about the channel how we've been improving and what's something that you don't like and how can i make my channel better to serve you guys in here and how can i even make you guys smile that's the most important thing it's not just about the content of the game that we're doing but how can i make your day how can i make you guys smile and forget about all the things outside in the world when you're watching my content so that's my goal in here is to basically give you guys the best experience when you are watching my content so uh, besides that let's talk about my um my setup in here because i recently have invested in a few um infantry gangs in here so maybe i am slightly kind of like an archer gang infantry gang somewhere along that line somewhere along that line um so let's talk about it uh so let's do this one um gonna be my first no this is definitely not the combo this is not a combo this is not a valid combo okay uh okay this is gonna be my first march i think that i kind of saved them up a little bit in here so i do have a charles martel and zun 2 because i don't have entire um you know um what is it called i don't have an entire uh army of commanders for infantry gang so i don't have leonidas so i can't really do a lot of things in here um what do you think about um charles martel and zun 2 maybe we we kind of modified that too later on but i'm not sure yet but in this way it could be a solid tank um, you know, Zuntu is able to take some damage reduction and is a solid tank plus has a rage engine because every time Zuntu will hit, you know, in the AOE with, you know, in the swarm, the open field, he will gain 50 rage for each target. And that allows Charles Martel to be even more tankier because, you know, having this absorption of the shield, right? Or shield activates a shield to absorb, uh, whatever. Uh, but isn't that great combo i mean this is something like free to play can definitely achieve um something like this right because you can invest on charles martel and then you can definitely max out zone too so this is a good uh, free to play combo let me know who's actually doing this type of combo because i'm very intrigued so this is going to be my combo uh i may modify it but i'm not sure yet but this is definitely a very viable combo um so it's basically a very tanky march that has um, some dps as well so this is a good free to play or low spender advice now um this is going to be a more of a you know big spender type of a, a combo so as you guys know i am a spender as well wink wink <laughs> so it's going to be edward and tommy race is going to be my march whenever i'm really trying to focus on hunting down infantry gangs so this is going to be really good so this is something that i like when i was playing on ruins um i was hunting down the infantry gangs i know it's kind of a little bit um not too tanky it's because it's archers but don't forget that um edward has a health bonus by 30 percent and also marching speed by 30 percent so that's really helps uh the archer gangs in here so um for this one it's really just really good to target infantry so if you're targeting like calves you're not really getting the full benefit on that one because you know first of all they counter you and especially when i see saladin i really really hate him because he is able to tank my uh, magic damage or the um, active skill damage in here so um really um if it's another archer gang i can definitely fight them with this setup um if it's another uh if, sorry if it's an infantry gang i can definitely knock him out with this setup so this is very important and what's great about this is the poison stack of tommy Riss. um the skill set uh, um the talent set that i have 
uh, for um, Edward actually is pretty good as well. So this is going to be my setup for Tom Mears whenever she's going to be the secondary commander for Edward of Woodstock. So um, I like this build. Um, this is like an outdated build. This is a new build that I have. I like this one because it really gives you a lot of the benefits in here. Although it makes you a little bit weaker because of the naked range. But um, it's still pretty good, especially for fighting against infantry gangs, because majority of the infantry gangs, besides Guan Yu, right, and Leonidas, they don't really have a lot of the DPS, right? So they don't have the active skill damage. So let me make sure. I'm not very familiar with Leonidas, but yeah, he has a damage factor. So um, direct damage factor anyway. So that's a really good um, talent to add if you're just hunting those commanders like Richard, Martel, Constantine, if you see them on the open field battle. Um, even Alexander, right? So that's a really good combo to use. So, and also, like I said, with the poison stack, it allows me to help other players that are DPS, like uh, has skill damage to really benefit on this stack that I'm doing. And it's nice about that because you can also see the uh, the icon as well. So if there are infantry gangs that are in your uh, team when they've been sending Guan Yu's in there, you're gonna be uh, helping them to benefit on adding more skill damage uh, or amplifying their skill damage, something like that. So this is a very good march. I love this march. This is probably the best march I have right now. Um, another great march is Ramses and Artemisia. Makes it really tanky in the open field. Um, Ramses, as we know, a very tanky commander and even tankier when paired with Artemisia. Now, I can do two ways with this one. I can do a Ramses YSG, which is really good in the open field, having the AoE. Uh, I can do that as well, depending on the situation that I'm in. If I'm wanting to play more of a longer uh, longer foothold into the open field, I'm probably going to be using a Ramses in Artemisia. Allows me to stay there a little bit longer. Um, as you guys know, Artemisia is also an AoE commander, which really benefits me in the open field battle. Now, having YSG, of course, will be really nice, but the problem with YSG is that he has the attack, but he doesn't have the tank ability. So that's my issue with YSG. I love him, but that's one problem that I have with him. Um, definitely uh, with um, Ramses and Artemisia, you can even flip it. You can even do a Artemisia Ramses. Now that's hella tanky because now you're working with the defensive tree. Now what I like with Ramses is the attack tree. So the attack tree that I have set up for Ramses, let's take a look in here. Um, this is my attack tree for Ramses. This is the best build that I can build for him. Um, you can also work your way up in here for Buckler Shield, but you have to reduce some of the things in here. I just, I, honestly, I like this setup. Um, I don't really have any other talent. Yeah, yeah, I've never used those. I've never even really used this one, I think. I think I've mainly used this this build. I really like this. Just full archer setup in here, and then you get your attack pad in here, which is really good. Now, actually, you know, I'm curious about this one. Maybe I need to test this out if this is even good. I haven't really tested that one out, but... I just rely on the buff from the archers, a little marching speed in here, which is going to be helping me out in the open field battle, uh, allowing me to move around, uh, maneuver, and do other things in there. But if you are going to play um, Artemisia as a primary, so this is my build for Artemisia as a primary. Now, if you're going to be doing on defense, then I would switch it up a little bit in here. Now, I like this build. Uh, very tanky build as well, little marching speed in here. So in here, you're really uh, investing on the marching speed, so you're kind of losing the value of the raw stats. But then when you work on the Venomous thing, um, it helps you to increase your skill damage. Now, it's kind of like a double-edged sword with Artemisia, because the stronger her attack or the active skill damage is, the more damage she's doing on her own. So a key thing in here is to add this loose formation and allows it to basically negate some of the additional uh, skill damage that you know you're buffing her with because whenever she hits herself with this one you're reducing it by adding those um negative buff for the skill damage does that make sense uh but anyway as long as you increase your uh skill damage you know uh, reduction it's going to help you out with artemisia as well all right, so now with my fourth march in here, I have Guan Yu and Alexander. I think this is the most common combo. This is definitely brand new for me, same like with Martel. Um, definitely new, new, new to me. Uh, I don't know how this is going to perform, but I think it's going to be really good. My talent pet for Guan Yu as of right now, I think we're still kind of developing that. 
I don't think this is my final one. Um, this is my setup in here for now. We did add the buckler shield in here, but I think I should be really going for the feral nature for Guan Yu. So you can give me your opinion, but I don't really have any other build besides that. So we're still working on Guan Yu in there. So that's uh, brand new to me. Um, dipping my toes into the infantry gang a little bit in here, offensive infantry gang. I played the defensive part of the infantry gang, but now we're going to go into more of the offensive part as we have Guan Yu. So Guan Yu is a very good investment. It had helped me out a lot on the canyons, but I want to see how my five march is going to perform when I get into KVK. So I'm super duper excited. Um, another thing, my next mark. Oh, wait. One thing about amazing with Guan Yu is that I have the Skolas coin, so it's really going to benefit me when I have the Skolas coin in here. Plus, um, I get to pair him up with Alexander, which is really nice as well. But I don't think I really get the benefit in here with the shield unless I have the Skolas coin. Um, what's great about Alexander is that it is going to allow me to buff up my attack. So attack is increased by 40%, right? When the shield is down and when shield is activated, bonus defense. So makes my, you know, Guan Yu tank here and as well as very strong. Um, you know, if you imagine that, right? We're getting, how much is that? 40% increased attack. So that's pretty insane. Um, we also get some marching speed in here. Allows me to move around in, you know, on the open field battle. And what's great about Guan Yu is that in the open field, right? When there's so many swarms out there, is that when he attacks in the AOE, he hits one target there's a 50 percent chance to deal additional damage factor right now if there is two hits or more targets then there is a 50 percent chance to deal additional damage of 1400 so you get benefits the more people out there the merrier the better your attack will be with guan yu so that's like it's basically a simplified uh, version of explaining things with guan yu hopefully i explained everything correctly correct me if i'm wrong um next march is my fifth march this is going to be my tank march so this is going to be ideally in front um this is going to be my bait march uh which is going to be richard and constantine so if i just said a bait march in here and everybody's watching it ah, now everybody knows my tactics but anyway i'm sure some will still follow my trap if you're one of them we'll see um actually all my marches is kind of tanky march pretty much everything right so except for my edward and tommy maybe so anyway so with this one with the richard and constantine this is going to be definitely my tanky march um basically on the healing part of richard and healing of constantine once it goes 50 percent and as you can see also with richard he can amplify the heal as well so that's really good so that's going to be really really nice we know richard is going to be very tanky so this march is not really going to be the firepower but this is more of the tanky it's going to be your frontliner all right this is not ideal too if you're looking for dps march this is going to be more of a tanky march so in the game you kind of have to have a little bit of mix of everything it depends on your role so my role i'm kind of all over the place uh the way my investments is so i'm really trying to hone it down a little bit in here but for now richard is a very dope commander so i'm gonna be using him especially in the open field this is gonna be a really slow march but we need to protect this march with our dps so as you have seen, we have three DPS marches and we have two tanks. So we're going to have to put those two tanks in front and then the three DPS march a little bit in the back. But once it's going to be like all scattered around, it won't even matter by then because you're just going to be going ham on people. And it really depends on who they target first. So yeah, there's that. So it all depends on what's going on. Um, now, if I am maybe losing in the, in the war, um, I will be having a different tactic then, right? We're going to be playing more of the hide and seek type of tactic. And I think we're going to talk about that in a different video. Maybe I'll help you guys out on some different uh, tactics that I've been working with um, throughout the game. Um, what's great about this one also is that it reduces all damage taken by 5% and increased dealt to cavalry units by infantry by 2%. Now, like I said, this march is not going to be high DPS, but it's still nice to have this um, this bonus uh, of the skill, right? Now, what's great about this combo as well is that with Constantine, so my Constantine is not level 60, and I wish it was. Maybe in the future, I will invest. But what's nice with Constantine is that it's not just this is going to be a tanky march, but it's also going to buff the troops around us. So kind of like with Alexander, he's going to provide shield for the lowest health of the march. What this one is going to be doing is that it's going to provide this. 
read this one increased troop damage reduction of this commander's army and nearby friendly armies by 10 percent so that's really nice because i'm there tanking and also supporting my team or even my you know my troops so with that being said my marches are this what do you think and how similar or how close is your march to my march are you a cabs gang infantry gang or archer gang as you can see i don't really have any cabs gang in my setup i don't have any cabs commander now if i have a cabs commander it's gonna really be whack because it's gonna be so hard for a player to invest on all three unless you're like a super spender like you know we know them like baba right so in maverick like those type of players that can they have every single commander or like that squad um but for me uh or even bunny uh, i don't want to forget my friend bunny there <laughs> um for me i'm not a huge huge spender there are some other content creators that spend way more than us uh i would say i'm a little bit more budgeted than them and i try to play it smart uh with especially with the money wise so i try to make sure that my money value that i invest into the game that you know i love this game uh, is worth it to where i am comfortable with now if i'm trying to compete for everything i think i'm gonna spend way too much but i think with this style um it's just a little bit more strategic more concentrated uh we really focus on archer gang but i think i'm gonna slowly concentrate as well on infantry so i have to pick my battles one of the reasons why i migrated as well is so that i can catch up on some of the older commanders so when i go to the newer commanders i have all the sculptures by then so that's my goal now i'm still never gonna get leonidas i just don't know why i don't have an intention to do so but I think for now, I've really completed my infantry march in here and as well as my archer march. And this is how it's going to be really benefiting me as well in the canyons when I get into the Lost Canyons. So uh, I'm really, really excited with this. So anyway, let me know what you think about this video. Uh, don't forget to do the survey at the end of the video. And what do you actually think with this setup of marches that I have? Maybe you have some suggestion, opinions, and maybe I'll listen to some of you guys if it's really good opinion. And maybe I can make some adjustments and changes in here. And But don't forget, let me know what is your march because I'm really intrigued. Maybe you guys have some interesting march there that, um, that you know, everybody would love to read in the comment section below. And of course, come back here in like one or two months and kind of compare your previous march Let's see if you have really improved. So kind of use that as a timeline or something. Anyway, thanks for watching, Rockers. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I don't know if I was able to make you smile. I hope I did. Hope, hope, hope so. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Stay safe and goodbye.